What is up guys, today I bring to you the servant profile of the day, Nero Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanicus. And yes, you have to say the whole thing every single time. She can be summoned as a saber and a caster. Her place of origin is Rome and she's the fifth emperor of the Roman Empire. First off, we have abilities. Her sword is called Istus Estus, the original flame and it symbolizes the flaming passion for her art. It's a handcrafted weapon that she brings while she's under the saber class. Even before she was emperor, Nero believed that her artistry rivaled that of Apollo, and her chariot skills rivaled the solar deity, Saul. Despite having the skill to be in the rider class, she feels like the category isn't suited for her. For some reason, it appears that she doesn't like the people in this class. Other things worth noting, she had the strength to choke out a lion with her bare hands. And I'm getting Tomo goals and flashbacks as we speak. Personal skills. Imperial privilege. The rank is EX. It's a skill that demonstrates her influence as a king. Skills that usually couldn't be acquired can be obtained for a short amount of time. For Nero, the skills are writing, swordsmanship, fine arts, charisma, military tactics, and others. By normal standards, she wouldn't even be qualified for the Saber class due to her parameters, but since she has Imperial Privilege, she can do it anyway because fuck you. If your rank in this skill is A or higher, it allows you to rewrite your own history. If she wanted to alter her background to say that she was divine, then so be it. However, the skill does require at least some knowledge in that particular field. Since Nero was experienced in multiple things, it's easy for her to pull a skill from any direction. Due to her mental illness, the skill will be forgotten after a certain amount of time. Migraine. The rank is B-Class. If you've seen Fate Extra, you may have noticed how charismatic Nero is. And between the saber faces, she's probably the most charismatic out of all of them. This is because Nero was poisoned by her mother as a child. And ever since, she suffered from chronic hysteria. There was an antidote, but unfortunately, her mother took that shit to the grave. And due to this illness, it's hard for Nero to demonstrate her talent in fine arts. Her success rate for mental skills will receive a noteworthy decrease. Thrice Setting Sun. The rank is A-Class. It comes from a story that was recorded in her life. Three days after she committed suicide, a soldier found her and went on to cover her dead body. When he did this, she opened up her eyes and praised him with her thanks. Because of this, each time the skill is activated, she gains the ability to revive herself up to three times during battle. It's similar to Heracles using God Hand, but the difference is it needs preparation. Istus Domus Aria, Golden Theater of the Flamboyant. The rank is B Class. It's an anti-teen noble phantasm that represents her artistic talent. In 64 AD, there was a great fire that broke out in Rome, and it took over six days to bring these flames under control. The theater is based on the palace Nero built after her first one burned to the ground. It's somewhat similar to a reality marble, but instead of projecting an internal world, it covers the current world with a new one. Because of this, the phantasm can exist for longer periods of time. In Fate Extella, she blesses the sky with rose petals and plants her sword into the ground. Inside this phantasm, her order is absolute. It will boost her parameters, ignore the opponent's defense, and make them progressively weaker over time. She can also customize buildings by changing their shapes and functions. When the theater first opened for business, a lot of people left halfway through her first performance. Nero wasn't too happy about this. So when the second performance came around, everyone in the theater got locked inside. Nobody leaves until I get done singing. You are gonna get these bars whether you like it or not. Because of this, you cannot escape the phantasm without Nero's permission or release. Lost St. Claudius, Imperium of the Maiden's Flowery Words. It's an anti-team noble phantasm, more specifically, a sword skill used inside Istus Domus. Upon its use, she dashes forward and performs a strike that creates an inferno. 
The suggestion comes from the flying ace on my Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde video, who said that I should do Nero next since the anime is coming out soon and people might want to know about her. That about wraps it up. If you enjoyed the video, please like it up so we can get this trending. Feel free to add information as you see fit and let me know what you guys think about it. It's your boy Saya. I'm out.